audience, Dylan McMurray here to tell you about a topic that a lot of people enjoy. I'm here to talk, tell you about food. A lot of people like food. See, being a student since kindergarten, I've had experienced a lot of food choices. And to be honest, as I went up in grades, I noticed that the food gets worse and worse, especially uh, when Mrs. Obama introduced the healthy program. See, they just make the school lunches, like, worse. See, my brother is in fourth grade, so I asked him how is his school lunches because we go to the same school. And he asked the students in his class, 18 out of 20 of the students did not like the school lunches. They said they were terrible and they didn't pro provided no nutrition. When asking the whole school, which is about 200 students, 100 and, 185 out of 200 students said that they hated the school lunches. Now, fast food items are really good, but they can make you obese. But in contraire, it could bring in revenue for our school, and it could provide a variety of options. So I, I think that people should be able to sell fast food in school. When you get fast food, you have a better variety of food. See, you could have food like McDonald's, Taco Bell, Subway, Jimmy John's, and on a wider scale, even local food restaurants like the Four Dog down the street, or even Demon Dogs. That brings in a more variety, and it's better for the students because they feel like they have an option. And it's a much more balanced lifestyle. But the thing is, if many of you might not know this, but we already sell fast food at our school. If you think about it, Toby's frozen yogurt is a form of fast food because the definition of a fast food is food that can be sold in a court or in a restaurant that can be taken out easily. And Toby's is exactly that, it's a food court stand. Now, nine out of 10 of you, I'm pretty sure, love to get Toby's once a month. So as you can see, we already sell fast food here. And Margaret Johnson said, freedom of choice should be extended in the food we eat. So people feel like they have an option instead of just eating the boring cafeteria food that, you know, doesn't always taste that good. But you may be saying, oh, here he goes again, rambling on another speech. But the thing is, fast food doesn't have to just be McDonald's or Taco Bell. What about Subway or Jimmy John's? or even local food restaurants. See, they promote healthy eating. So you're not just eating bad food, but you're having a variety. You have sandwiches, chicken, macaroni, burgers, hot dogs, a variety. And according to Pete's Hollingworth, our kids will continue to get fatter, even with or without junk food, because Junk food is not the main provider. Many kids these days just sit in front of the TV. They could be just eating apples and they would still get fat because you need exercise. So a lot of these fast food restaurants are getting the bad criticism for all of these kids being fat, but in reality, just stop watching TV, stop the video games, go outside and exercise. And although Abby said students can be obese from bad food, about 80% of the school here at Marist, the students are athletes, so they work out a lot. So see, if we had fast food, the athletes would also have a variety of food to eat. And if they can limit what they eat and what they don't eat, then the coaches will be pleased, the athletes will be pleased, everyone will be happy, because we will have a better variety of food, and we will have a better understanding of what the main problem is. But you may be thinking, like for some people, some of the students, about 20% of the students don't exercise. But in contraire, some of them are exercising. See, take the band for example. You may not think about it, but the band is marching around. That's a form of exercising. And that's a form of working out. Now, if we all work together, we could get fast food to come to Maris because it would be a better variety for all of us we would be happy, the teachers would be happy, all of you audience would be happy. Perfect. Now
Now, if we could have fast food, people hungry for more could finally be filled. Thank you. Very good.